Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. Today is Monday, it's the 9th, and we have the market moving higher here. Take a look at the grain hedge trading platforms here we closed off the day. Corn trading up two and a half cents, soybeans up eight and a quarter cents, and wheat in Chicago trading seven and a half cents higher here on the day. Early this morning, we did get export inspections out. It was very positive to see corn here with 1.18 million metric tons inspected for export. That was on the high side of analyst expectations. We've really seen very strong corn basis here over the last week. Uh, we've seen very strong pace here of exports. So this is very positive here for corn. On soybeans, you know, it just it was about the middle uh, side of analyst expectations in between 500 and 700,000, which were uh, really what the market was looking for. Uh, when we look at soybeans though, the pace of exports has really slowed. We definitely have seen a decline in basis along the rivers here. We talked about that on Friday. Uh, and, and really, uh, it's, it's kind of turning over to that season where uh, soybeans really start to trickle out of the U.S. Uh, and corn really starts to ramp up its exports here. Uh, wheat in Chicago, uh, we did see 376,000 metric tons inspected for export. That was uh, really on the lower side of analyst expectations. Nothing too exciting there, but yet wheat was able to rally here this morning. One thing to talk about, of course, is tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the, uh, the supply and demand report for, for March here. And, and really the expectations is for corn to be mostly unchanged to slightly lower, uh, coming in at 1.826 billion bushels compared to February's WASI report at 1.827. Uh, of course, that 1.826 is the average analyst guess here. Average analyst guess for soybeans is to come in 9 million bushels short of, uh, of what we saw in February. It's expected that the USDA is going to revise their forecast down to 376 million bushels here uh, from 385 in February. So uh, I think a lot of that is going to probably come from export sales. Export sales have been running well ahead of pace to meet USDA expectations that were outlined in February. We're already 97.7% uh, booked here. So I, I think we're going to have to see the USDA lift that export sales uh, number there, and that'll decline that ending stocks uh, probably down to that uh, 376 level. We'll have to see uh, if we actually come out within that analyst expectation. And then wheat here, uh, looks like ending stocks for wheat just continue to climb. Um, average analyst guess expecting around 699 million bushels compared to 692. So we're going to have to see if the, if the USDA comes in uh, around those levels. If, if of course, there is a, a big deviation from uh, that average analyst guess, there's a good chance we could see some, uh, some volatility in tomorrow's trade. Now let's take a look at the daily May corn chart here. This is one thing I wanted to talk about because aside from the news that's coming out tomorrow, technically when you look at corn, it, it almost looks uh, like we have a little bit of a bearish uh, formation here. We have the 100 day moving average and the 50 day moving average crossing here where the 50 day is crossing over that 100 day moving average. That is typically viewed as a bearish price pattern and technically this looks a little bit ominous. We have it hanging over prices. Uh, I, I would suspect really that uh, that even if we get a, a average uh, report here, even if we come in within analyst expectations, it may be difficult to rally up over that level as those are two very strong indicators here. So that, that's a definitely a resistance level you're going to want to keep in mind, especially when trading uh, starts to occur here tomorrow. If we have any sort of price action where we get up around that level, be very cautious uh, because I do believe it will provide a very significant resistance level. Other than that, guys, that wraps up today's show. If you have any questions, please give the office a call. Number is 877-472-4607. I look forward to speaking with you.